Greetings fellow Gorehounds and welcome back to another Blood Splattered Vlog! So in my quest to catch up on 2016 horror releases, I found out that they're watching a horror comedy slash found footage film I've really been looking forward to is actually currently available on Netflix Instant Streaming here in North America. So I figured, hey, let's boot it up, watch it, and hey, maybe I can get a vlog out of it. Clearly, I got a vlog out of it. Anyway, for those of you who don't know, Their Watching is basically about one of those home makeover shows. You know, one of those shows where someone buys a fixer-upper and then they renovate it and then the crew comes back to film the results? And everyone at home gets to oogle and go like, oh man, that house is nicer than my house. Well, this is a horror movie about one of those shows gone wrong. Because the house the woman in this movie buys is in a remote Eastern European village named Moldova. And the problem with Moldova is that they don't like outsiders very much. In fact, they have a long history of burning outsiders as witches. And notice how I said the woman in this movie bought a house in Moldova. So this whole situation is just a cocktail for bad mojo. But surprisingly, that woman is not a main character. Our main characters are actually the camera crew of the home makeover show. So you have the two cameramen, you have the lady PA, and you have the host. With this really funny and awesome local real estate agent essentially showing them around the town and doing all their translating. And he is hands down my favorite character. I fucking love all of his lines. Especially the reoccurring joke about him being the best because he's the only one. Which probably doesn't make sense out of context, but will make sense when you see the movie. So yeah, you have this young, spunky camera crew mixed in with this old European country that clearly doesn't want them there and thinks they're outsiders and there's a whole lot of, you know, miscommunications. And of course, eventually everything goes fucking nuts. But to talk about the things I like and don't like without delving into spoilers yet, I really like the characters in this movie. It's probably the movie's greatest strength. Everyone in the main cast is fully three-dimensional and they are likable despite kind of being dicks to one another. But saying they're dicks I feel like is doing them a bit of disservice, it's more like they're really close friends and because they're so close of friends that means a whole lot of playful ribbing just becomes par for the course. With the lady PA essentially being the new girl who's being initiated into the whole thing. And she's basically the audience avatar, the person who is new to the group, and just like the audience, is just learning all the character dynamics as she goes along. And she also happens to be one of the most likable characters in the whole movie. Her and that awesome fucking real estate guy, that guy is amazing. But with that being said, I do feel like this movie takes a little bit too much time setting up its characters. This is essentially an hour and a half movie that is an hour long setup for a half hour payoff. And that half hour payoff is totally worth it. But even still, I feel like that half hour payoff should have started about 10 minutes earlier. Because right before it kicked into gear, I was starting to question whether or not this was even going to be a horror movie at all. Even though it clearly had a very well established horror setup. But rest assured, if you hang in there, it is totally worth it. Even if some of the effects in the final act aren't very good. Seriously, a word to the wise, if you're doing a low-budget horror movie, try to keep the digital effects to a minimum. Because bad digital effects do not have quite the charm as bad practical effects. Because especially in a horror comedy, if you had bad practical effects, it would just be funny. Whereas bad digital effects, they can be a bit of an eyesore. But seriously, that is a minor complaint, because outside of that, I really fucking love where this movie goes. The other thing I should say before we get to the spoilers is that despite this being a horror comedy, it is not a laugh-a-minute comedy. Most of the humor comes from the awkward interactions with the characters, a la something more akin to The Office. And they're not necessarily like really refined jokes like in something like Shaun of the Dead. So I know for me personally, I didn't find myself laughing very much, but I was thoroughly entertained. And I I feel like anyone going into this movie should probably know that beforehand because it could be disappointing for some people if they were expecting to just laugh the whole time. Anyway, my fellow Gorehounds, Their Watching is a really fun movie with some really great characters and a really awesome payoff, even though the payoff has some questionable effects. So check it out if anything I've said so far has interest you, and with that said, let's move on to the spoilers. 
All right, so this movie starts off with a clip taken from the end of the movie where we see one of the main characters straight up being killed by one of the villagers. And at first, I wasn't sure how I felt about that because at that point, what suspense left was there gonna be in the movie if I already knew that? But trust me when I say, parts of that clip are a little misleading because this movie goes in a direction not entirely where that clip implies. And by that, I mean, for most of the movie, you think this is gonna be like locals burning the camera crew because they think they're witches movie, but in actuality, uh, it turns out that there's a little more going on here. As in, there might actually be a witch amongst them. And I really like the little hints they put throughout the movie of that being the case. Because throughout this entire movie, you have a character who is constantly doing these things that are kind of seen as new agey, so you as the audience member just assume like, oh, these are the things that the townspeople are just gonna misinterpret. But no, it turns out she's actually doing witchcraft. And no, I'm not even gonna spoil which character it is, you can figure it out for yourself. But my god, when she explodes with all her power and just starts massacring the entire village, I did not expect this movie to go that far. Like, I thought at most it was gonna reveal her to be the witch, the people run outside, and then they're killed by the townspeople, the end. But no, this movie goes above and beyond. Now granted, like I mentioned earlier, some of the effects during this sequence are a little questionable. Like, like there's a moment where she lifts up an entire fucking tree and it is so clearly a really bad digital effect. And there's a whole lot of digital blood splatter throughout this whole sequence that I was not very fond of. But even still, I was really happy that it was happening even if the effect wasn't entirely up to par. Like it's one of those it's not that great of an effect, but it is an awesome moment nonetheless. Or I should say, a bunch of awesome moments. And I gotta say, like, this actually kinda is a very original movie. It's built on well-established tropes, absolutely, but it's actually, you know, circumventing your expectations the entire time. You know, there are many moments where you're like, oh, this is what will usually happen in this kind of movie. And sometimes that would be what would happen, but then the follow-up would not be the natural follow-up that you're used to in other movies. Movies. In this movie, there's usually some kind of twist on it that you're not entirely expecting. And oh yeah, I should probably mention, since this movie's supposed to be like a professional camera crew, it's not super shaky cam. It gets that way a little bit towards the end of the movie when the shit kind of hits the fan, but you know, you kind of expect that. But for the most part, the cameras are actually really stable in this movie, so if you're the kind of person who normally gets motion sickness from found footage films, this might be a movie you can safely watch without getting too big of a migraine. And can I just say for a moment that I knew that the real estate agent had to die at some point in this movie, he practically has it written on his fucking forehead, but I was really sad when he actually did die because I love that character so much and I would watch an entire movie of just that guy if I could. Even though I totally love the other characters in this movie. One of the other things I really like about this movie is that despite it being a bit of a horror comedy, there's actually some really great dramatic moments. Like there's a reoccurring subplot about this one cameraman who used to be a cameraman during the Iraq War. Actually, I don't think it was the Iraq War, but rather Afghanistan. But anyway, the point is, this character has this scene where he reveals why he left. And that scene is really dramatic, it's really heartfelt, felt and the actor's performance really like damn like I didn't quite get there but I was almost tearing up a bit which is a good example of how despite the movie taking a little too long to get to the point the characters and their interactions kept me thoroughly engaged throughout the entire running time holy not quite matching jump cut Batman my sincere apologies for that jump cut but I just realized I completely forgot to talk about the title of the movie and how much I fucking love it and not just because in the credits of the movie it's written with the they live font, though I do fucking love that aspect. But no, the real reason I really like the title They're Watching is because there are multiple layers to it. Because not only do you have the camera crew being watched by the townspeople, the townspeople are being watched by the camera crew and their cameras. And on top of that, the camera crew and the townspeople are being watched by a third entity, and all three of them are being watched by us. We are partially the they that are watching. Watching. Just peeling away those amazing layers. Anyway, my fellow gorehounds, peace out, and uh, I'll catch y'all later.